The main idea behind the European semester is to ensure that uh, a series of economic targets and growth enhancing measures are implemented by the member states. In real term, what that means is that uh, this is a tool to uh, create jobs, to, uh, to promote sustainable growth, to get Europe back to economic stability and recovery. Um, and these are, are the key priorities actually of the Irish Presidency. So this is why it's quite uh, a natural fit for the Irish Presidency to ensure that the European semester uh, is run as smoothly and as effectively as possible. So we meet the successful goal of uh, adopting the current country specific recommendations uh, by, by June. It is an, in fact a, a, a governance structure to ensure that the targets, economic targets uh, uh, that have been set out by the European Council are achieved uh, by the Member States and the EU as a whole by the 2020 deadline that we set ourselves. Um, and it, it does this through, first of all, starting with the annual growth survey that's prepared by the Commission in November, uh, and then through a process of consultation and orientations given by the ECOFIN and EPSCO Council and by the European Council, um, Member States prepare national reform programmes. And it's on the basis of that then the Commission will prepare country-specific recommendations that give policy guidance to Member States uh, on how to achieve these economic targets and they in turn feed into the preparation of their national budgets each year. In a legal sense it's not binding, um, but certainly in a political sense it's binding. Um, there are consequences if the Member States fail to implement the, the CSRs. Um, there is a, an intense period of monitoring and peer review within the Council to ensure that Member States implement the CSRs. Um, but there's also uh, mechanisms available to the Commission um, to give policy warnings uh, if the CSO is not implemented within a certain period of time. And also there's, there's possibility of sanctions or incentives. In this time where we're dealing with an economic crisis, we're trying to find ways to enhance growth and create jobs. Um, the main thing for the European semester to do is to implement the targets we set ourselves to make sure that we create jobs and create growth. Um, and they do this through a series of uh, events um, that uh, not only monitor the implementation of the, of the recommendations given to member states, um, but also develop these recommendations uh, to ensure that uh, there's economic convergence among the member states uh, and that the member states put in place um, key uh, growth enhancing measures uh, to create jobs and growth within the member states themselves. It's quite easy for member states to blame Brussels, um, but at the, at the end of it it's all about uh, making sure that the policies, economic policy of each member state is sustainable, um, that that economic policy then is sustainable into the future to create jobs, sustainable jobs and sustainable growth. Um, so in the end of the day I think the European Union is very much in the, in the business of trying to help each member state, uh, not trying to punish each member state. Um, what, what's good for the member states is good for the European Union as a whole, which is good for the citizens in terms of jobs and growth.